Welcome back to Forces Education. This is that today I'm going to be talking about PLM, Polymet Mining Co Corporations. Uh, this was based on requests on Twitter. Make sure before we go ahead to drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel to help it grow, and share the video if you like it at the end. I'm going to be going through technical analysis and then forward on we're going to be doing a little bit of overview in terms of the company, uh, their operations, and how they compare towards their uh, competitors. So first things first we're going to do one month one day you get to see here that the stock was on quite a bit of a, a negative macd here that did get a reversal on the 22nd and a very sharp one uh that might be a little bit concerning with the volume going in almost around uh let's say nine times more than average or so eight nine times more than average the unbalanced volume increased from 259 million to 413 so almost doubled there Average directional index supports in, uh, a trend that might be a little bit too high and a bit unsustainable. So we need to look a little bit into the one hour perspective. Uh, the William percent R puts the stock at a neutral, not overbought, not oversold situation here. Momentum seems to be still high though. Uh, the stock price is above the 50 SMA and the 200 SMA. Uh, the stock 10 SMA is above the 30 MA, which is amazing news. Going on to the one hour interval now, we get to look into uh, the stock is oversold quite a little bit in the last day uh the stock price has gone something here that might be concerning uh so it did go below the vwap and below the 50 sma so usually the 50 sma here uh you want to make sure that it stays above it and you sell if it does touch the 50 sma 200 sma is still under the stock price so that's good uh something concerning here is that the 30 ma did cons did go above the 10 SMA, so that's a bear sign. Usually you want the 10 SMA to be above the 30 EMA. MACD here looks quite negative and it doesn't look like it's stopping anytime soon. Although hopefully a reversal would occur sometime and it would turn around to the positive side. Now I don't see it, uh, I see basically uh, a gradient that seems to be very consistent, so it doesn't seem that way. Uh, it seems that it's going to continue negative. Uh, MA, the volume seems to be consistent. The unbalanced volume has been a bit consistent during the day, roughly. Uh, average directional index went up to very high 60s to 70s and then dropped significantly. Uh, so if it does go back to around 30, that shows in perhaps a reversal is starting to weld up. But right now, uh, I don't see it as a strong trend based on the technical analysis here quickly. Now going on towards trends, um, we get to see that the moving average for this stock is below uh what the stock price is so that might be a little dangerous where you actually get a drop over there uh could be something where we're seeing a little bit of a pullback similar to what has happened before uh, in terms of a higher volume and then a lower volume the next day usually that's a little bit of a bad sign and you get to see it here higher volume lower volume and then it drops higher volume lower volume it did jump quite a little but it then dropped considerably during the day so it did gap up per se so it has a chance to gap up still this is a comparison with other company NAK. NAK has had some catalysts in news recently uh, and you get to see that it did jump with it. So uh, not over here but looking on to around the 23rd it did see as well a jump very similar and then a drop very similar as well. So it's actually following it very similarly here. Going on to Fibonacci retracements where we can identify quickly is where the supports are lying and where you see that the support is lying around 0.49 for Fibonacci retracement. A traditional support is looking to seem that it actually built around 0.51 Next Fibonacci resistance of 0.53, although it hasn't been well, uh, hasn't been confirmed before. Uh, traditional resistance around 0.57. Above that is around 0.58. Above that is around 0.62. Moving Fibonacci retracements up 0.63. Traditional supports below Fibonacci would be somewhere around 0.47. Following that is around 0.46 that occurred around here. Now, in terms of trends, we don't see any much any that are uh, interesting. This could be considered somewhere off, perhaps a bull flag, and but I would very much give it a little bit of low credibility in that pattern. Moving on towards news and what we're looking at, uh, and this would actually look a little bit in terms of a longer term view, uh, kind of hold per, per se. So, um, this company here has one of their biggest mines, mines is in North uh, Met Project, it's in uh, Minnesota. And what we're looking here is that they're all major states and federal permits received, including permit to mine air and water permits in federal wetlands. Uh, it's an open wet pet mine. Uh, not going to go through the details there, but it has a plan of 225 million tons of resources, including 1.16 billion pounds of copper, 170 million pounds of nickel, 6.2 million pounds of cobalt, 
1.56 million ounces of precious metals, including 1.19 million ounces of palladium and 0.37 million ounces of platinum or gold. So with gold and platinum and all those precious metals freezing currently, so their actual uh, operations might be a bit more profitable as well. Uh, so they're basically mining mainly in uh, the uh, dull less complex region uh there is a technical report there for any civil engineers here like myself uh you can go ahead and read it quite interesting actually uh yeah so it's mainly coppering um mine coppers and mine uh sorry uh, copper mines in minnesota going on towards uh shareholders so you get to see that they do have around a thousand six million shareholders outstanding but that's split between tsx and noice uh, market capitalization is 241 million cash on hand is only 8.2 million so that's a little bit too dangerous whether they need to finance or release some more uh shares or whatnot they do need to increase that kind of share for a mine as well stock prices was around 0.24 now i know if, if they stay uh, a specific amount of days below 0.20 on nyse they would get delisted i'll go that in a second uh going on towards their financials you get to see that there has been a bit of a growth from march 31st 2020 from December, even though COVID was a thing, it does seem to have decreased in terms of their negative as well. So that's uh, that's actually the cash used in investing activities. So they're using less of that. Moving on to uh, salaries and whatnot, this seems to be a little decreased, but that's kind of expected. Now moving on towards their uh, financials. So we're going to go on quickly here. You get to see on March 31st, 2020, so th this quarter, uh, they have seem to have a higher... Uh, shareholder equity on hand higher total assets uh but as well at the same time a little bit higher than liability so it seems to be actually sustainable there for quite a little basic and diluted loss per share it's only 0 0.01 compared to 0 0.02 so there seems to be a little bit of decrease there in operations uh weight weighted average numbers of shares is uh quite a, almost three times as big as last year a little bit concerning for my hand but it shows a little bit of growth as well uh for this company now moving on towards news, there has been a vote for approved uh, proposal for shares consolidation. Uh, so that doesn't really show anything, but it could be as well that they're interesting in consolidating their shares. Uh, that is uh, something NYC company like this one here, a Canadian company would do. Uh, very similar to a reverse split, but definition a little bit changes there. Uh, moving on here, we get to see that they did have their VP uh, Brad Moore retire um, and they I know they actually did hire someone else as well so they had uh, uh, Nathan Bullock as a parliament board of directors to put him on there so that could be a change in terms of institutional buyings you get to see on the tw uh, there has been some recent entrance in institutional buyings uh, now creative planning which the name you've been seeing a little bit lately on my channel since there seems to be interested in some companies uh, that we're looking at uh, they have decreased their shares by 22 percent that was on the 23rd uh we get to see uh, actually another company bought around i believe 14,550 shares at 0.31 per share uh so still lower than what the price you're considering right now seems to be a little bit of healthy transactions going on as well especially in the month of july which signals a good news as well they might be knowing in something or seeing something that we're not seeing uh, and shows a little bit of strength there now here's different votes and whatnot so i'm not going to go through different details but they did have a vote for directors um nothing else interesting here out of the blue the pr is a little bit slow uh it doesn't seem to have almost anything for all of july so i expect something to be here soon but uh hopefully that is the plan so what would i do for this stock if i'm watching it uh and i haven't bought yet uh I would definitely wait a little to see where it holds very closer to a support, perhaps closer to around the 0.47 region um, and see if it tests it. If it does test it and it's kind of denies it, then I can play it for the day. But uh, the mining industry is a little bit rough around the edges just because of different lawsuits and different environmental lawsuits that would get up. Uh, and this company had its fine share with them where it had to go to the Supreme Court of Minnesota to get their approval for mining air and all that stuff. Uh, so that would be quite interesting. But it's a. I would still consider wait to wait until it consolidates, uh, unless, for instance, the company NAK as well does jump. This one would follow with it. So that's kind of a really funny situation where you're looking at a different company's PR just because this one is a sympathy play. Uh, 
Thank you very much for watching. What do you think about the stock? Make sure you mention it down in the comments below. Share, subscribe, and like it. You have a wonderful day.